Are you looking for a free open source root planner API? Let's discover OpenRoot Service, a free self-hosted alternative to Google Maps API and Mapbox. OpenRoot Service is a powerful API to search for places, get directions, and plan routes to one or multiple locations. Ideal if you are building a delivery app or an internal tool to schedule trips for your company's vehicle fleet. It helps you avoid the steep price hikes of alternatives like Mapbox when scaling beyond free tier limits. To start using OpenRoot service, you can use the cloud version for free, including 2000 directions requests every 40 minutes. Or to have unlimited number of requests, you can self-deploy it by following their Docker installation guide on their GitHub repository. Or you can use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy it seamlessly on your server or the cloud provider of your choice. We handle the installation, backups, updates, and ongoing maintenance for you. To start using OpenRoot service, head to our platform ls.io and click on login. Then deploy my first service, search for OpenRoot service, and select. From there, you can choose between different cloud providers, regions, and service plans based on your needs. Once you have made your choice, click on Next. You can adjust more advanced settings, choose between the different level of support. The first one is included by default. And once you are ready, hit the Create Service button. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email telling you that your instance is ready. Follow the click here to get the password link. As this is an API, we will have API credentials and also access to a swagger. What we want here is to get our password to make API requests. Let's copy it to the clipboard and the username is root. If we head back to the email we received, we have the list of the API endpoints, but also simple examples that we can run to directly test our instance. Let's check which one we can to use directions. We can copy it inside a terminal, paste it, but there is something we need to change is the click here to get the password, which is a link we have in the email. We need to replace it with the password we have in our clipboard. I paste it and no worries, it's an instance I will kill, so it's not a problem that I'm showing you the password. Let's run it. And we have a response in JSON, which is hard to read like this. I can copy it, open a JSON formatter, paste it, validate JSON, and here, it's a more readable syntax or a more user-friendly to do it is to copy the request, use a tool for API requests such as Insomnia, click on plus from curl, paste it. Don't forget to replace the password. Here it is, import. It will set the URL and the body and authentication for us and then send. And on the right, we have the JSON formatted correctly. Inside the answer, there is everything we need to have the route between this longitude latitude and this one from point A to point B. And you can see as it takes an array, we could add more steps for the travel. You have the routes, the summary of it, the distance and the duration, and all the different segments when you need to turn what you need to do. This is the data the API is giving to you. And on top of that data, you would want to create a map and different features to let the user choose from where to where or display vehicles and so on. Let's open the Maps client. It's an example they have on OpenRoot service. And before starting using it, you can see on the bottom right that it is using a leaflet, which is an open source JavaScript library for mobile friendly interactive maps, which means it works perfectly with OpenRoot service allowing you to create your project relying entirely on open source software. The base implementation is in vanilla JavaScript and there is a React wrapper around leaflet for a simple syntax and to not rewrite everything. But anyway, you could create your own integration for any framework you like. We won't do a front-end integration because we want to focus on Open Root Service API and its feature, but know that if you want to create your project, you can use it. Let's go back to the map and try some features. The front end is made house made by Open Root Service. Let's try to find a place and type Tour Eiffel. And it's giving us a list of places. 
the right one being the one in Paris here. We can click. The request made to get access to the different places is geocode. And I guess and this is the autocomplete service. And then we can say we want to go from there to somewhere else. Let's, oh, it's the final destination. So let's say we are starting from Arc de Triomphe. Again, we pick the one from Paris. They should be close to each other. Let's zoom in. And you can see we have the duration and the distance when we are using our car, which is the visual representation of what we get when we see the distance and duration. Here, I don't know what those places are, but if we were using Arc de Triomphe and Tour Eiffel, it would be the right data. To choose if we are using a bike or a car, it is a URL parameter. So here we are having driving car. But to know the different options, you can use the documentation. If we go to directions, you have also the different format you want. Profile is bike, car. Let's open one of them. So path parameters, it is in the profile, so driving car, bike. And in the body, you have a lot of different parameters you can use. If you want the instructions, if you want to, to choose an alternative route, if you want to avoid toll or highways, these are the parameters you can adjust here in their UI. Parameters, maximum speed, alternative routes. You can also have access to the altitude. Everything you need to create your map based app. Another way to use the API is to use the Swagger. It's included by default. Display Swagger doc, follow the link, and you have the lists of all the routes available. I prefer the official documentation because if you expand, you don't have a detail about each parameter, but still it's useful because you can test it directly online and on your instance. Let's check what happens when you choose by bike. It's a bit longer, which is accurate, and by walk. It's 27 minutes and we have the detail of everything we need to go from one point to the other. You are not only restricted to directions. We have seen you can search for places using geocode. You also have isochrones, which I had no idea what it was before searching on a Wikipedia. And yet I'm not sure in which case you need it, but if ever you need it, you can know that it exists. But another feature I can know that you would like is the optimization. What it is, is it solves a vehicle routing problems and can be used to schedule multiple vehicles and jobs, respecting time windows, capacities and required skills. Ideal if you have a fleet of vehicle or if you are building a delivery service app. They have this optimization route available for you, so you don't have to handle it yourself. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering Open Route Service with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video, available here.